this has multi layers, so. Um, are you satisfied? Oh, I'm going to. Who, who, who's? Um, you're addressing this to John Scott. Mr. Scott. Are you satisfied with the state's efforts to address safety issues related to I-95 in the region, in particular with the uh, Gold Star Memorial Bridge and its access ramps? But given that Governor Malloy's characterization of the General Assembly's repeated failure to pass a bill to adopt a, adopt a lockbox amendment to preserve funding earmarked for transportation improvements um, as a tremendous mistake, Please tell us your position on the lockbox lock as part of your answer and defend your position. And also as part of your answer, please let us know where you stand on tolls. Okay. Um, I am hesitant to give the General Assembly another source of revenue uh, without making sure that we have some kind of constitutional amendment that locks up those funds specifically uh, for what their purposes are in keeping our bridges and highways uh, up to date and safe. Um, that said, I'll talk about uh, the lockbox. It's kind of the same discussion. So in that session where we had the lockbox vote, um, we had a long uh, debate. My party actually uh, tried to amend uh, the, um, the, the bill so that it was a str had stronger language. The lockbox bill that they want to uh, put out there uh, basically lets the legislature decide what money goes into it and what, what money goes out of it. And I don't think that's what we should be putting in our Constitution. I think our, if we're going to put something in our Constitution, it needs to be very specific as to what money goes in, where the money's coming from, and what is going to have it spent on. Um, we already have the Special Transportation Fund, which is supposed to be a quasi-lockbox, and money from our gasoline taxes uh, goes into that Special Transportation Fund. In that same day where we tried to, or where they tried to pass legislation and we tried to amend it, um, f about 45 minutes later, uh, the legislature voted to sweep $45 million out of the Special Transportation Fund to go towards general obligations for the state of Connecticut. And that's my fear, is that we're going to create another bucket of money that's not constitutionally protected, and uh, we'll be able to, you know, future legislatures will be able to willy-nilly sweep money out of that account. Um, the, the highways in, in Connecticut do need help, and I, I want to find a way, and I think that the, the solution that we had as the Republicans uh, was a good one to really lock down that, that money. Uh, it was spe specific as to what was going to go in, what was going to come out, and if there was a disagreement, it put the Supreme Court in the middle of the whole thing. Um, so I would support strong language on a lockbox. Um, uh, I'm, at this point in time, I wouldn't support tolls unless we had very strong language in our Constitution about what that, um, what that uh, money would uh, go towards and, 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 the th and things like that. Thank you. Ms. Conley? Our bridges, our, our roadways, our highways are something that always needs work. Uh, these, f these structures are older, and millions of people, including myself and, and most likely my opponent, are on these roads daily. I personally go from Groton to Norwich, crossing all four lanes, five lanes of traffic on the bridge on my way to work, and all five lanes the other way on my way home from work. We need to make sure that this road is safe, so we do need to invest in it. I am okay with tolls. The technology in tolls has increased so much since the last time that Connecticut had tolls. There is a way with electronic toll monitoring so that residents are not paying a fee. There's a way with taxes where residents of Connecticut do get a tax break on any fees that they paid over a certain amount. And there are ways where we just tax the folks that are driving through our states, just like you and I and everyone else pay taxes when we go down through the New York highways, the Massachusetts highways, Rhode Island highways, and throughout the country. There are ways that we can make this work. Um, and our residents do not have to be taxed. Non-residents can be taxed to, to pay for this. Thank you. Um, our next, uh, I'm sorry, go ahead. I, I don't think Mr. Scott addressed tolls, did you? Or? I did. I oh, you did. did. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. I wasn't clear if uh, Ms. Conley addressed the lockbox. Did you talk about that? Did sure. Um, the lockbox, it, it is not as important to me about a constitutional amendment. The law needs to be clear. With every law, there are sometimes ways that people try to use it to their advantage and disadvantage. That is why we have great things like the day and the press, so that if these things come up, we have folks, we have the press, we have citizens who can step up and say, this is not what we put you in Hartford to do. I expect that these transportation funds are kept separate, and if it is the will of others, then I'm sure that the press will tell them and the people will tell them that they're doing things incorrectly. Thank 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.